Hello viewers all over the world, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing fine. This is a usual program called Determine Mindset with me, Sally Futuri. And for today, we'll be treating a topic which I titled as Pushing Your Limits. Pushing Your Limits. So let's start by defining what we refer or what we generally normally call a limit. And we say a limit, it is the greatest amount or the extent or the degree of something yeah that is possible i'm gonna do that again the limit we say is the greatest amount the extent or the degree of something that is possible is what we call the limit and this is a definition from the english dictionary that is how the english dictionary defines a limit so um have we ever think about like um trying to do something which we are passionate about which we like doing but we see ourselves holding ourselves back. And such a thing is what we call the self-limitation. So the root word is called limitation. We've had limitations in various ways and there are a lot of things in us. Probably as a result of the validation of others, what other people have said about us. And for today we'll be learning about seven things which are very important, which can help you to push yourself to overcome that limit for which you are having. The first one here is, we say challenge your belief. Let us learn to challenge your belief or the belief of others. Yeah? So learn to challenge your belief or the belief of others. Maybe while we're growing up, people tell us that, um, hey, you are not a good dancer, so you can't dance well. So because of that, we use that as a validation for ourselves. We never attempt in dancing. We never attempt in putting effort in dancing. Why? Because somebody has told us before that, hey, we can't do this, we can't do that. Or even ourselves, we tend to do that. We tend to limit ourselves by the way we are doing things to say, hey, I'm, I'm not capable of this, I cannot do this, I cannot work this. You know, so number one, when we say challenging your belief or that of others, we say belief serves as the foundation. Yeah, beliefs, it serves as the foundation upon which your entire life rests upon. Your belief serves as a foundation upon which your entire life rests upon. So number two, knowing your potential. Know your potential. Know your potential means knowing your capability. Know that I can do this. Everything starts with the mind. As, as large as your heart or your mind can be, that is how you can succeed. So number one, we say knowing your potential, meaning knowing your capability. Knowing your capability. Capability is very important in life. Your capability, it is what you can handle. The things you can do, the things you can handle. You know, every one of us knows our potential. We know our capability. So, knowing your potential and try to explore upon it. Yeah? Don't allow the issue of limitation to hold you back. So, know what you can deliver. Know what you can handle. And the third one, face and overcome your fear. Learn to face your fear. Like I said um, initially in one of my videos that somebody who is a failure see a challenge as just a mere challenge. But somebody who is a hero, you know, he sees it as something for which he can overcome. So learn to overcome your fear. And this was a, a wise word from Franklin de Roosevelt. And according to him, he said there is nothing to fear but fear itself. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. Your fear is a direct result of your beliefs. The belief you are having, it is the kind of fear you are having. Or more specifically, we say your fear are the result of your challenge, meaning you challenge your beliefs. Okay? The fourth one, we say taking doubt out of the equation. So learn to take doubt out of the equation. Because um, doubts can serve as the destructive force which can affect the human mind. So learn to get rid of every doubt. Believe in yourself that you can do it. Believe in yourself that you can succeed in whatever thing you are doing. Probably you've said, okay, because people have said, I can't do this, so you are doubting yourself. You engage in the issue of drug as a young person or as a youth. You engage in the intake of drug. You engage yourself in things which can even better your future. And you tend to waste your life. So I am encouraging you. Wherever you are, don't doubt yourself. 
Then the fifth one, we say slow and steady, get it done. Move in a slow and steady and get it done. There was also another episode I did, which I titled as the baby steps. So this is very important. Learn to take slow steps, but steps which can allow, because life itself is a process. Take note of this. The reason why we, we need to be slow, as a young person, don't say you wake up today and, uh, or let's say for a child, you give back to a child today and you expect the child to begin to talk, the child to begin to work. It is not possible. Life is a process. Even if you hit the gym, you want to develop a six pack or you want to develop muscles, it, you can't develop it in a single day. It's a process. You can take weeks or months before you begin to see the results of what you are doing. So engage yourself. The fifth one we say slow and steady. Get it done. Allow the process to go on. And the sixth one, going the extra mile. Learn to go through the extra mile. There is one player which I admire most, you know, though um, I like, I have the one for which I like the most, which is Messi. But I like the way um, Ronaldo, meaning Cristiano Ronaldo does his thing. He goes the extra mile. He challenges himself. He trains other. He goes the extra mile. Let's say if the coach could allot one hour to their training, he can ask, add another extra one hour. Learn to challenge yourself. Go the extra mile. Do that sacrifice. You might not get a result now, but probably in two years' time, three years' time to come, you begin to see the results of what you are doing. Learn to go through the extra mile in whatever thing you are doing. Go through the extra mile. Yeah? Don't make yourself become comfortable. So going through the extra mile means get control of your actions apply more effort be stronger and be more powerful in whatever thing you are doing if it is a book you are reading read the book if, it, if you are investing in your future you want your future to be brighter tomorrow if you are a student go to school if you are somebody engage in that job that you are doing if you are a businessman do the business for which you are doing that is what it means to go the extra mile by so doing you can become and grow so powerful and more stronger than you can ever expect. Then, the seventh one, we say keep building on your possibilities. Keep building on your possibilities. So, in this topic for which you are talking about pushing um, your limits, means you try to overcome all of your doubts, all of your doubts for which you are having in your mind, all the belief mentality, the self-limitations which you are having Keep building on the possibilities. In life, there are possibilities. You know you can do this. You know you have the capability to do this. Continually build on what you got. Continually do it. Continually improving. Keep improving upon yourself. Keep doing that which you are doing. Take note. When you push yourself beyond limits, take note of this. The moment you begin to push yourself beyond limits, then you can discover the inner reserves which you never thought existed earlier. This was said by Monaj, that when you push yourself beyond your limits, you discover inner reserves which you never thought existed before or earlier. So in life, you may never know that you are good in whatever you are doing because you are doubting yourself, because you don't go beyond the limit, because you don't want to challenge yourself of whatever belief you are having or belief mentality you've developed in yourself. Or maybe because of the validation which other people have used against you, the things which other people have told you, you believe them and all of a sudden you say, okay, this man has said this and it is right that I can't do this, that I'm worthless. Stop using such word against yourself. You're not. And you tend to engage in the intake of drug. You tend to engage yourself in other things which are not even better for your future. I am advising you as a young person or as somebody growing up, when you want to be successful, Go through the seven keys which I have developed. Challenge your belief or the belief of others. Know your potential. Yeah. Number three, face and overcome your fears. Take doubts out of the equation, which is the fourth one. And the fifth one, slow and steady, get it done. The fifth one is slow and steady, get it done. And the sixth, we say going the extra mile. Learn to go the extra mile in doing whatever thing you are doing. And the last one, keep building on your possibilities please subscribe to my channel make sure you share this video so it can go viral and please um, i am dropping down my email address if you're that person who wants to partner with me 
or maybe you have some reservation or certain help you want to render, please feel free to hit me up on my email address. Thank you.